What's going on everyone? My name is Josh Soros and welcome to my channel. Today what I got for you guys is a really exciting um, investigation slash explore. I'm here at the Burwash Correctional Facility in uh, Culinary, Ontario. The place is just huge. I'm going to show you guys some drone shots very soon to see just the size of this place. This is, uh, we're fighting, we're running away from a storm here to get in here. So we're going to head in, try to bear out the storm a bit and wait for the rain to stop. That's the entrance we're getting in from right there. Let's get right into it. Hope you guys enjoy. Burwash Correctional Facility, also known as Camp Bison Prison Camp. Camp Bison Prison Camp was originally built in 1914. The facility was built to be fully self-sustainable, having their own residential units for workers, a hospital, a church, a grocery store, a blacksmith, a barber shop, and even their own farms for food. The building was built to withstand about a thousand inmates at once, but they never reached the full capacity of this place. Camp Bison is a very isolated prison with a hike of about 3.5 miles from the closest road and the site owned about 35,000 acres of land for their own property. Camp Bison closed their doors due to it being too expensive to maintain even with it being self-sustainable and they closed their doors in 1975. In 1990 the military bought, purchased about 8,000 acres of land on the property and began military training using explosives which left most of the property to be demolished and most of the buildings that were not the main building to be demolished. Today, Burwash Correctional Facility in Culinary, Ontario still stands alone away from civilization, awaiting the earth to regain. All right guys, let's get right into this. Entering the front doors here. You can see the logo from Parliament here. Some names. Look at that, guys. Let's get right into here. A fireplace or something like that anyways. old washroom stall, wow. I'll get in here to show you guys. This used to be where the sink was. The view of this place is gorgeous. It's down there. Another little entryway. Let's see, this is another little room here. More views of the outside. All this rubble on the floor, guys. It's just beautiful. You can see the first little looks of stairs that we get to see. There's a door open up there, but let's explore the first floor first. It 
doesn't seem like there's anybody here with us right now. This is a correctional facility, so I think eventually we're going to see some cells. Stuff like that. Look at this corridor, guys. Oh, I just saw lightning. That's the thunder that you guys could hear. Like, it's creeping up on us. This might have been the worst time that we took an hour-long hike to get to something. So we're kind of trapped in here until the rain's going to stop. It hasn't fully started yet. But we're an hour away from our vehicle, so... We're just going to try to hold it out as long as we can. People did bonfires here. Some lawn chairs. Whoa. That is creepy, guys. Just look at all these cells down here. Whole hallway of cells. I keep hearing things from over here. And there's another corridor just filled with cells. So let's start on this side and then we'll go all the way to the end. And then we'll work our way back. So, just there, guys, I was using my, um, my DJI gimbal to film so let me know if you guys prefer that slick kind of movement or uh, you guys actually prefer me just holding the camera down in the comments below like these are the cells look how small they are at least they have windows like not much of these places have windows walk all the way down and then I'll show you guys these rooms. I just want to show you guys like just how beautiful this hallway really is. This is one of the doors guys. Holy. Things just solid. This is a heavy heavy door. It seems like someone was here excuse me again. Like, look at this door, guys. I thought the hallway was going to end. And then we were going to walk back down this way, but it seems like it keeps going this way. This is honestly probably going to be a uh, two-part video just because the sheer size of this place is huge. Oh. I just saw something at the end. Oh, it's birds. Do you see that? Someone has been, eh? Look at all this stuff. Oh, the rain's coming in, guys. Oh, the rain just came down. Yeah, it's a good thing that this is a old jail, so it's probably not going to break due to weather. It's just pouring out there. Yeah, it makes it more scary in here when... You know there's a huge thunderstorm going on out there. Look, rain's coming into this room. It smells good though, because the rain. Just more rooms. I think me and Diana might have to camp out here tonight, guys. I don't think we're going to get back to the Jeep, but we have to have dinner. And uh, the Jeep's where I'm cooking tonight, so. Lipstick. 
I don't know what those are. Let's keep going around here for Oh my god, the shower room. Birds just flying in here, guys. Did you see that? Birds just flying right past us. This is the old shower room. As you guys can see, it's just pouring out here. Alright, let's get right back into this. We just had a little stop. Just sat down from that long hike. Like this storm is just coming in. So I hope that it chills out a bit before we have to leave. Because um, I don't feel like hiking an hour through. A thunderstorm. This side just all wet. It's a shower room that's getting wet because of all the rain coming in. Yeah, let me know guys in the comments below. You guys know what these are. It looks like bullets, but I don't know what those white tips are. Are they blanks? Like is it for a police? training or something it's like those blank bullets I don't know I have no idea what they are never seen them in my life yeah there's millions of them they're literally all over the floor everywhere look at this guy's old pipe but it's going in over now you guys just hear that storm coming down on us kind of makes for an atmosphere for this video oh I see the lightning starting Yeah, that scares me a bit too, not gonna lie to you. Especially when it's so loud. Look at this one. Looks like the door was like ripped off of it. It just makes it creepier because we have the thunderstorm. We're hearing a bunch of things around us. And we're out in the middle of nowhere. Both of us have never been before. Down this way or down that way? Down there, see what's going on. Look, used to be gates up here. Yeah, I saw that over there. Yeah, all these used to be gated off. I swear to you. Someone down there. Like I hear what? Like everyone's like someone screaming from the wind. From the rain. Okay, we're gonna go this way for now. Because we honestly think we keep hearing someone down here, so we're gonna try to avoid that area for now. Somewhere is pouring in here. Hmm? Oh my god, so maybe someone is staying here. That's her first evidence that someone probably is here right now. Hello? Anybody here? I'm just exploring. This still has a door on it. Oh. Hello? I think we found where they were living, guys. There's still matches there and everything. I mean, there's a bunch of pots and pans. So I don't know if there's someone still living here, or if this is all just left over from when they lived here. I don't know, but it's kind of giving me the heapers, jeepers. 
Especially because we're kind of stuck in here right now with this storm. So I really hope there's no one watching us in here because we're kind of screwed. I swear, this is the making of a horror movie. I know. <laughs> Look at that. Look, there's like a... Look, what's that? Like an air mattress? I'm hearing things all around us, guys. Like, look at this, guys. Just to show you guys what I mean. There's literally little homes inside of all these little things. People have made homes in here. So I don't know if there's anybody around us. I really hope that they've all been kicked out. I'm not sure. This is definitely one of the more scary explorers I've done just because of the size of this place. This is definitely the biggest place I've explored so far. But uh, this place just um, sketches me out because there could be people living in here. This place is going to be flooded soon with all this water coming in. This might have been the woman's side or something, and the other side was the man's. Yeah. See a little building down there? It's probably for the water. Yeah, we came from all the way down there, guys. All the way. Like, it was a long walk. Like, an hour of a walk. An hour hike over here. See, this is what creeps me out. Someone's definitely been shooting that. And we saw all these bullets around. I'm just hoping that there's no, like, people walking around here just shooting everything they see. Let me know if you guys see anything. We're gonna try to get up to the second floor now. Oh, actually, we have a basement still to explore. We do the basement, then the second floor. Then when the rain stops, see if we can get up to the roof, if the roof's safe. Just back to the entrance, the main corridor. Look how much water's already in here. All right, I guess let's get down here before it gets filled with rain. Yeah, see, like, look at this, guys. There's shotgun shells. Let's see. All we can do is see. Look at this. This is like the little booth where the guards would be. The guards would be in here. Oh, this is like the cafeteria. The guards would be sitting in here watching. Be watching this cafeteria or whatever this is, making sure there's no fights or nothing like that. See the old light fixtures up in the ceiling. Yeah, this is a big area. Storage room. Ooh, elevators. Oh, they weren't elevators. Sorry, guys. They were, uh, they're freezers. Big walk-in freezer. This would be the loading dock where they'd get all their stuff in. 
show you guys this weather that just came down on us. It's like the old boiler room. We are in the middle of nowhere. Now this right here would be an elevator. And it looks like it just crashed down to the bottom. Or the basement. Okay, we got a staircase in here. Some Mr. Noodles and some food cans. You're good doing. Old little booth here. I'm not sure what it'd be for. Yeah, I'm not sure what this room would be. Huh? Yeah, like it looks like that's where they'd hang the lights from. Oh, look at this. This is a cool find right here. Leftover bars. Now these used to be up everywhere, guys. They've been torn down a lot throughout the place. Oh, a stage. Look at this, guys. Huh. It's to be where they'd come watch little shows or whatever. Little stage. I would go on there and do a little dance for you guys, but I don't know how strong that is. Gonna take a look in here quick. Looks like people like destroyed through to other walls and stuff. Rooms that they couldn't get into. Look at this. A gate in front of the door. So this must have been a cell. A cell of some sort. All the fenced off, the bars on everything. So it looks like we're coming across another two quarters. This is on the second floor corridors for uh, more cells, so we'll start on this side. All right guys, and just like that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is part one of this burr wash series. Make sure you stay tuned for Friday's video, which is going to be part two. Things take a turn and get pretty intense, so I hope to see you guys there. 
As always, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. All three of those things really do help me out with my algorithm on YouTube, get these videos pushed out to more people, get them all to join the crew, and yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Love ya, take care, and peace.